Good morning children welcome to science class so in science we have completed with block 23 isn't it children so let's start with block 24 which is save natural resource okay so in this our first topic is natural resources okay so please open your science content book children and turn to page number 148 okay so in this what do you mean by natural resource so the things which we get from the nature are called natural resource okay that means this, that is not man-made it is from the nature those are called natural resources and these natural resources are very useful to us like for example the sun forest rocks minerals animals air oil water plants all these are natural resources okay none of them are man-made okay they, we get these all things from the nature okay in this sun and air are that means you get every time okay even though we use them it is like continuous sun in the night it might be not there but in the next morning you can see the sun okay air it is 24 hours blowing isn't it children but the other resources like forest rock minerals animals oil water soil all these we have to use them very carefully why because it is nature it can be replenished but it takes a long period of time to replenish and the sources like animals water water scarcity you have we have learned about water scarcity isn't it children and we also we have learned how you can conserve it properly yes animals we have learned about animals also which are endangered tiger is an endangered animal we have learned it yes and once it is disappear then we cannot see tigers again isn't it minerals minerals if the minerals are finished then to get the minerals again it takes some hundreds of years isn't it children minerals oil that is petroleum yes soil also soil erosion we have to prevent the soil erosion isn't it children rocks so all these are very very useful and we depend on them for many reasons for example from the forest what do you get from the forest wood isn't it so wood is very very useful to us we make different kinds of furnitures from the wood isn't it children yes and if you see rocks so because of rocks only we get soil and from soil we get food isn't it you grow the crops in the soil isn't it directly or indirectly we depend on the soil yes minerals you have many minerals and use use these minerals to make different utensils electric wires isn't it children so minerals are also very very important they are very useful to us soil we get food directly and indirectly and we also use this soil to make the bricks to construct the house isn't it and you if you see the animals you get food from the animals isn't it children from cows and buffaloes you get milk from hens you get meat and eggs so you depend on domestic animals isn't it oil petroleum we use vehicles and with what the vehicles will run with the help of petroleum that is diesel and petrol that you get from the oil petroleum oil isn't it so all these natural resources are very very useful to us we depend on this natural resource isn't it children so in this way you we use natural resources directly or indirectly okay children so that's why we have to save our natural resources we have to use them in a correct way so that everyone gets benefited and it is not wasted and it can be used for many years again okay so this is our topic for today children and if you see did you know more than 100 crore people in the world struggle to get safe drinking water it's a natural resource yes and it is constant from early years but people are struggling that is that means we are wasting the water isn't it we should not waste the natural resource okay 100 crore people 
in the world are struggling to get safe drinking water yes so in this way we should not waste and the people who don't get get suffered okay children so this is our topic for today children i have given few keywords in your daily schedule please learn them write it in your class work and underline in your keywords we have learned about the natural resources and uses of natural resources okay and if you find any other word which is difficult you can include in your keywords and learn them children okay now coming to your question answers we have three question answers children explain the term natural resources give example natural resource the things which we op which we get from the nature the anything which is obtained from the nature is natural resource and which is useful to humans all the natural resources we use in children okay example air water trees etc okay now next question plants are natural resource of food timber and fodder can you think of plant that is not natural resource explain weeds weeds they, they have no use okay they are also plants but they are no use okay now coming to your next question give an example of an object which is that is made by using more than one natural resource list the natural resources bread so bread needs water wheat and also fuel it has to be burned isn't it children yes so it needs three natural resources paper paper also use the it get from the trees you, you get from the tree the paper you get from the tree that means the tree and also the water okay two natural resources okay children so write these two answers in your classwork and please learn it children coming to your homework complete the volume book volume book 3 page number 40 and page number 41 in page number 40 you have s1 understanding natural resource in page number 41 you have s2 natural resources page number 40 and 41 okay so in the next class we will learn the next topic children see you in the next class bye